Hey everyone! Today we're going to talk about how to start flipping houses as a beginner. I've been a house flipper for seven years. I've done over 60 projects and I've made millions. A lot of people have told me that they've been interested in flipping houses for a while, but they don't know where to start. So I've created this video specifically for you to help you get started. I'm going to use my own experience as a beginner to show you the roadmap to complete your first flip, especially if you don't have a lot of money of your own. There are four elements that are crucial to a successful first flip. I'm going to break it down and show you exactly where and how to secure each element so you can feel confident to get started and avoid the mistakes I've made when I was starting out. The first element is the money. It's probably the biggest hurdle for most beginners, and people tend to think that house flipping has a high threshold. The truth is, there are many resources you can use to fund a flip, and it's the beautiful thing about real estate investing. The first and most common resource is a hard money loan. Hard money loans is kind of similar to how you use conventional mortgages to purchase a primary residence, but it's specifically designed for fix and flips. Hard money loans are pretty cool because the lenders don't care about your income or if you have a stable job. They care about the deal, whether the deal is solid. Once the lender determines that you have a great deal and your qualification as a borrower, they can fund the deal within a week or two, and it's considered all cash because of how quickly they can fund. Being able to make an all cash offer with a hard money loan gives you an edge compared to all the regular buyers because your offer would be able to close on the transaction much faster and the seller will get their money back very quickly. But exactly how much can a hard money lender lend you? Most hard money lenders can fund up to 80 to 90% of the purchase price and 100% of the construction cost. So that means most of your deal would be covered by a hard money loan. If you don't know where to find the hard money lenders, simply type hard money lender and your location into the Google search bar and you should be able to see a list of lenders that operate in your area. Another way to fund a flip is through a conventional mortgage. If you have a stable job and enough income monthly to cover the payment, then you should be able to use it. It's probably the most cost-effective way to fund a flip because the interest would be a lot lower than a hard money loan. The disadvantage of using a conventional mortgage is the extensive underwriting process and also the much longer timeline because it takes about 30 to 45 days to close on a conventional mortgage. A third way of funding a flip is through private money loans, which is lesser known, but there are actually a lot of money out there that are ready to invest, especially invest in real estate because people see real estate investing as a safer investment vehicle, especially compared to stocks or crypto. The returns through real estate investing is much more predictable. If you don't know where to find the private money lenders, you can go to real estate events or Facebook groups and share your deal. And if you have great numbers on your deal, I'm sure that a lot of people would be interested. Once you have the capital, the next step is to find the deal. Good deals are pretty hard to come by, but I'm going to show you a few ways to get them. The first way is to find properties on the open market, which is usually referred to as the MLS multiple listing service. If you don't have access to the MLS yourself, you can ask an agent to set up alerts for you, or you can also set up alerts yourself on Redfin, Zillow, these consumer apps. To actually get a deal from the MLS, you usually have to be either the first one or the last one to make an offer. So what I'm saying is, if the property is priced relatively low compared to the market value, you want to be the first one to jump on it and make an offer so you can snatch it up before anybody else can make a move. 
A different scenario is when a property is priced too high. It probably would sit on the market for a while. So the seller may have rejected some other offers before, but if you are patient and if you wait until the right time to make an offer, then the seller may have run out of patience or if their motivations change, then you may be able to make an offer and close on the deal. It's not that easy to find a deal on the MLS because there's a lot of competition from end buyers and other investors. So you probably have to evaluate a lot of properties and make a lot of offers. The key is to be patient and persistent. You can of course purchase a deal from a wholesaler. A wholesaler is an investor who purchases fix and flips, but they don't actually do the work themselves. But instead, they wholesale the opportunity to a fix and flip investor and make a commission in the middle. There are a lot of wholesalers out there and many of them are not that good. A lot of times they would overestimate the after repair value, which is the resale value of the home, or they would underestimate the rehab cost. So the deals they give you probably are not worthwhile. But there are still some good wholesalers out there and it's still worth your time to build relationships with them so you can get deals consistently. When you work with a wholesaler, the key is to evaluate the deals yourself and trust your own numbers so you won't be swayed easily. You can also purchase homes directly from sellers. You can connect with them by sending out mailers or cold calling. And the key is to provide value to the seller. For example, if you purchase a home directly from a seller, then you can tell them that they wouldn't have to pay out any agent commission. So that would be a big saving. Last but not least is to network with real estate agents and get their pocket listings before they go on the market. This is my favorite way of getting deals because it's completely free and the effort is more upfront. Later on, you can just wait passively for the agents to bring the deals to you because the relationship has already been built. It's not as easy as just calling up the agents because you want to target the right agents who can actually bring you deals and also you need to say the right things to them so that they are incentivized to work with you. Once you have a deal, the next step is to find a contractor who can do the work. A great way to find contractors is through referrals. You can ask your friends and family if anybody has done a renovation recently and has something good to say about their contractor, they could be a good candidate for you. You can also ask other investors for contractor referrals, but keep in mind that investors may not like to share their contractors because if they have multiple projects going on, then they probably don't want their contractor to take on other jobs and delay their own projects. You can also find contractors through Yelp or other online platforms, or you can go to Home Depot or local hardware stores to see if there are contractors available over there. But the key to find a good contractor is to get multiple bids so you can compare the bids and find the contractor that would best align with your project. The fourth element that's important to a successful house flip is experience and it really can't be overlooked. You're thinking, wait, I'm here to do my first flip. How can I have experience before doing my first flip? The experience actually doesn't have to come from you. It can be from somebody else, from a mentor or a coach. To think about doing a house flip all by yourself, it can be intimidating and scary. I was scared to death myself because there's a lot of money at stake. If I made a wrong move, it could cost me a lot of money and even a painful loss. So if you can find a mentor who can help you navigate difficult situations, shorten your learning curve and avoid a lot of mistakes, I think it would be the best investment you've ever made. 
to get mentorship or coaching, you can join a coaching program like my program, Transform Flipper Academy. I teach my students the ins and outs about house flipping and help them achieve financial freedom through real estate investing. Of course, you can also partner up with an experienced investor like myself, and you can actually learn the rope as you do your first flip with the experienced investor together. So these are the four key elements in completing a successful first flip. If this video was helpful, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.